and today we will make this uh, kinetic uh, topography and I intended to do this tutorial because I told you last time it was hard for After Effects to render the uh, displacement time it was hard for RAM, it was hard for PC so I wanted to show you how easy you can do it in Cinema 4D with no effort so first we'll create uh, this box here and uh, let's give it a decent height here now let's make it a cube so it's 200 by 200 and we can you know even bring it more the height now I'm gonna press M and D which is the shortcut for uh, quick shading lines so we can view the lines and you can hide the uh, the grid and you can press G also you can hide the grid here see it much better now let's give it a segment um, on the Y axis so I'm gonna give it about 30 that's right and then we will go to uh, bend and let's go to twist I'm gonna throw the twist inside the cube and let's fit to parent now if you change the angle I have something similar to after effect I'm gonna rotate it the cube not the twist let's rotate it and press shift so we can uh, rotate it to 90 degree and also let's create a camera so I'm going to create a camera here now let's go to camera and view the camera here all right now it's up to you if you want uh, to increase the twist so you can the twist or decrease by the angle here now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to convert the cube uh, to editable uh, poly so I press editable poly and now uh, you can start editing the cube if you want but you don't want that but now we just need uh, to uh, go to now let's apply really the material uh, to the box and if you want to rotate it also we're gonna go into uh, more graph effector and there's the time effector I'm gonna throw the time inside the cube now nothing really is happening that because you need to set the deformer to object and now if you play it's rotating now let's make it about 200 so as you can see there is no key and it's looping very nice now if you want to edit the speed of that you can go to time and you can go parameter right now it's turning 90 if you make it 200 it's gonna rotate it uh, faster but I think that 90 is very good okay now the second thing we're going to do is we're going to go to cube here and let's uh, go to uh, UV edit so it's UV edit and uh, let's uh, select all the, the polys from the box and we're going to choose the projection now to project the text so we don't want a sphere uh, you don't want a cylinder or a frontal what we're going to choose um, is the box this is the best one and let's rotate it also so I'm going to rotate on the center here and let's rotate it here let's move it a bit there and we can scale it also All right now let's go to layer now we don't have anything here and that because you need to set a new texture 
Now 2000 by 2000 is good. If you want higher, you can bump that to something like uh, 4K, maybe like 4, 4000 or 3000, I don't know. Now let's say OK. Now right now it's going to give us this color. Don't worry about that. Let's add another layer here. So let's press this one here, new layer. And what we want to do um, is we want to go to layer and let's uh, outline polygons. And right now we have an outline for that. So it's a white. Now let's save the texture. Now be careful if you go back to the standard, everything will be gone. So just save it right now. Save texture as. And let's save it as PNG. Save it as PNG. Now we save it. Now we'll go to standard again. And we are here again now. Uh, now let's uh, go to Photoshop. So here inside Photoshop, you see the image that we created. All right. So uh, let's first give it a color. So you can give it whatever color uh, you want. So we can uh, go to gradient. And OK, that's the color we want. Let's put it underneath. And don't worry about that. So let's make the opacity a little bit there so we can see what's going on here. Now this is the face we want to add the, the text. So let's add uh, uh, motion. Let's see here. Let's go on here. Okay. Again. So let's write motion Q. and again motion right now let's change uh, this to white and let's paste it scale it up and now let's bring it down to the other face and let's rotate it also Let's put it uh, properly on the place it properly on the face of the polygon here. I'm gonna hide that and we have that. Let's save it. All right back to Cinema 4D now. Uh, we're gonna open the text. So here's the map. Open that. And here it is. Now if you play it, this is what you have. And bring the camera just a bit there. Let's play. Okay, you know what? Um, Let's bring that motion how it was. Let's save it. Yes. Okay, go back to Cinema 4D and let's reload this map here. So we'll go here and load, uh, reload. It's fixed. All right. Q, Q tutorial. That's good. Now it's a matter of creating a uh, duplication. So I'm going to press Control down here, and uh, let's go out of the camera here. And you can go out from this spot here. So here's the camera, and here's the other object, and you can. Um, rotate it 
to the other side here go back to camera and we can scale it up here uh, bring it to the Z more scale it and you have something similar to what we created before alright okay now I forgot to add something and that is the uh, the the bevel so let's throw a bevel uh, right inside this one now go here and use angle and you can apply the bevel as you can see here now we're gonna copy that and throw it right inside that box and now if you go to display that with a quick shading so this is what we have looks cool and you see render is very fast and uh, yeah that's the end of our tutorial today guys I hope you enjoyed I hope you learn uh, something new uh, please subscribe to the channel and uh, there's a lot of things um, coming soon thank you